Hello, are you ready for the battle with pests? So in this video I will show you what I use and what I do. So I think it's important to keep our plants uh, clean and healthy. So one of the things that I do is to remove uh, any dead leaves just to prevent any fungal or uh, bacterial infections, infections. And I check my plants regularly. Well, I look at them every day, but sometimes even if you look at them uh, on a daily basis, you may miss uh, something. So don't beat uh, yourself uh, if you uh, miss uh, missed something. Um, so once checking the plants, I remove any dead uh, leaves uh, which are still attached to echeverias and the like. As you can see, they come off very easily and it's a natural process that all the leaves at the bottom, they go uh, dry. So it's nothing to worry about. And the reason, uh, it's not just for aesthetics that I remove them, but also, as I said, uh, to prevent any pests uh, hiding uh, there. So a uh, good housekeeping is um, important. Another uh, thing is uh, if you have infected a plant to isolate from uh, others in order to uh, prevent the spread of uh, those uh, nasties. Uh, also uh, keep any trays and the pots um, clean uh, and uh, sweep up floor in your greenhouse uh, from any dead leaves. I think sooner or later everyone who deals with plants will come across some pests. So having the uh, different solutions at hand, it's a uh, good. So I've got a, a, a range of organic and systematic pesticides. So the first thing when reporting, I've got here uh, active charcoal. Uh, antifungal properties and uh, also I've already made video how uh, you can use cinnamon oil so a link is up above and you can also have cinnamon in a powder form which has got again antibacterial and antifungal properties and you can use to put on the wound so it heals quicker again preventing an uh, pathogen pathogens getting in. Uh, one of my favorite is this uh, plant uh, invigorator and bug uh, killer. It's not systematic so you need to repeat um, the treatment and any new plant I spray with it. So again I made a video what to do with your newly purchased plants. So in short isolate, keep in quarantine for at least a week and uh, spread and just observe. And here you can see a few of uh, systematic uh, solutions that I got uh, from Poland. And uh, I also have uh, this uh, back clear and there's also a fungus uh, clear. So I've got a quite a good range of different um, tools. Yellow sticky traps are good uh, for uh, fungus uh, nuts. They attract adult insects so they can't lay their eggs. And there are also uh, blue traps which are for um, thrips as well. And talking about um, those pests, so here you can see Hattoria and above there's a link of what it looked like when I first got it. And unfortunately I had uh, the first ever bout of uh, trips and as you can see it disimitated this plant it looks better now uh, what i notice is that the stem starting to uh, drop off i don't have any pictures unfortunately i had to uh, act fast so what i did i sprayed one, one uh, of those um, uh, systematic things and uh, obviously i put it uh, away from other plants and also I used uh, uh, this, um, this killer here. 
to spray around and uh, it helped, I'm lucky to say. Another favorite of mine that I use especially on mealy packs is rubbing alcohol. Uh, this one is 70%, so I don't dilute it. And as it happens, one of my ribsalis has mealy bags. And it's quite, quite big. So you will see in a moment. So I will show you how I treat it. I've already made a few videos how I use it. Oh, this is what mealy bag uh, look, looks like. And another telltale sign is this like a white cotton which you can see here. So I use, um, as you can see here, a Q-tip, which I dunk in alcohol, and then uh, I touched mealy bag. It uh, works in the contact, so straight away this pest is uh, killed. Some people use even their uh, bare fingers to remove it like that. Mealy bag, so it's when the invasion is not uh, huge it's uh, much uh, easier. The other method would be uh, to cover the soil and so the water won't uh, get in into the pot and just put on, uh, under the shower for instance or a hose to blast them with, uh, with water to get rid of them uh, from the plant. And so check as well uh, the pot itself uh, at the bottom of the uh, underneath the uh, pot because if you can see white sediment it may be as well a sign that there are some mealy bugs also check every crook and cranny as you can see here there's one hiding so you need to really uh, check it thoroughly the, the plant and once everything is removed i spray the plant again uh, with uh, alcohol. Uh, one more thing, don't do it in full sun because you don't want your plant to get burned. Millies are the most common nasties that I have to deal with. Uh, fortunately, I didn't have to uh, handle yet uh, fungus nuts. With spider mites, uh, I don't have photos, but I think two years ago they attacked my Freya and Rebu two Rebusias that I had in the house. So what I did, I again, I sprayed those plants, isolated them, and in summer I put them outside so natural predator predators could <laughs> deal with them. And it worked. So let me know in the comments what you use, what methods would you recommend. Uh, and if you like this film, give me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. So let's hope we don't have to bottle all those nasties too much. So this is my wish for you and for myself. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.